So I see this uh, kicking off. Could be today, could be tomorrow. But I don't think that uh, Donald Trump is going to allow him to even think. And I think for a moment, if they're thinking, I think it's going to just be a shock and awe this time around to where there's just, they got to destroy the base. I mean, they're going to go in this time. They they didn't. They uh, Some of the runways, uh, there was some destruction there, but they were able to rebuild this thing within, you know, a couple weeks. Shock and awe. It, it, the poor people. The poor people there. The, the, just the amount of deaths. Uh, they are in this guy. Just he's a monster. He's no better than Saddam Hussein. Uh, and uh, just the wickedness. And and just to think, you got Russia and Iran. Iran, again, they're 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 paying for this. And the joke of Russia being over there for what? That they're actually defeating ISIS when they actually should be sh- getting Assad out of there. Somebody said that he was waking up to the fact that Assad must go. Well, if he needs to go, then they need to go in there with their commandos. And get him the hell out of there. Once and for all. It's just, it's, it's, it's a monstrous situation over here, and it just breaks my heart. So hopefully something improves, um, or I just don't see them making concessions. Say, oh, hey, we're going to give up the chemical weapons. Come and get them. Bring, your, bring the UN in and uh, confiscate it all. We're sorry. My bad. We, we don't want more tomahawks. It doesn't look like that's going to happen. By the way, there's a 61-year-old Las Vegas grandpa who uh, he's deciding that he wants to go into the NBA. He says, I'm trying to get myself into shape better than I've ever been before. I'm trying to get into the summer league. The 61-year-old Calvin Roberts said, I want to go against the best, the youngest. That makes me play better. I just, he says, I have a goal I have to reach, and I'm going to let, I'm not letting anything stand in my way to get there. Calvin is not your typical pro hoops hopeful. He's uh, been matched up against some of the NBA players of all time, including Magic Johnson, and playing against him, he says, I heard about him. It was just like, wow, now we're going to see what will make or break me, Robert said. And that was the highlight of my career, I think. The Spartans won that day, uh, and the video won't show it, but Robert said in a Battle of the number 33, he came out on top. I did. I blocked his shot. I can say I blocked his shot. Two years later, Roberts was drafted in the fourth round, 83rd overall by San Antonio in the 1980 NBA draft. During the summer, he spent time with the Spurs, Clippers, and Hawks, but failed to crack any regular season roster. He says, I just don't think what to expect when I came out uh, out of college. So uh, Roberts then set sail to overseas. He played 15 seasons of pro baseball teams in Spain, Italy, Israel, Turkey, Istanbul, Turkey, and uh, even won championships in Austria. After it seemed like his playing days were done, Calvin returned to the States and started a family, and then he moved to Vegas in 14 and said that that's where he found the fountain of youth. I saw some guys, I think, uh, with my same talent, I'm in good shape. I still think I could do it. Uh, That drive was still in me, and I said, I'm going to do it. Then in January, Calvin started to train, and uh, that's what he's doing. So he's going to get out there and listen, at 61 years old, it ain't over, is my point. If this guy can do it, he's got the drive, and Vegas, I guess, gave him the fountain of youth. Wow. (laughs) Good, Good for you. Yeah, don't be old in the mind already. I, I meet some people, and I, I think, man, they're just ready to go over. Change your mind. Change your life. And if you got to move to Vegas, then move to Vegas somewhere. But uh, think younger thoughts. Get around positive-minded people and uh, get up and do something great with your life. It's never too late is what I'm saying. We'll be back with more For the People. Here's a message to every rapist, domestic abuser, violent criminal thug, and every other monster who preys upon women. Maybe you've heard the stories about millions of us flocking to gun stores and gun ranges for the first time, the second time, and the hundredth time. Here's what that means for despicable cowards like you. 
your life expectancy just got shorter. Because there's a very good chance your next target will be armed, trained, and ready to exercise her right to choose her life over yours. This is what real empowerment looks like. Millions of American moms, grandmothers, and professional women taking our lives and our families' lives into our own capable hands. I'm the National Rifle Association of America, and I'm freedom's safest place. All right, folks, it has been a full hour, and uh, we're just out of time. Man, uh, <laughs> time flies when you're having fun. What can I say? You got another hour coming up if you're staying with us. If you're not, we appreciate you so much uh, joining us for today's For the People. Remember, For the People is 100% listener supported. We can't do what we do each and every day, and we're depending on your generous gifts of support. They say a lot of uh, giving is down in the summer. We need you more than ever, and you can take along with us uh, anywhere you go on your smartphone device. If you're out of uh, your area and the station doesn't carry us, you can find our podcast on Spreaker, on Sonos devices. We're on YouTube. We're on Facebook. We're everywhere. And we'd love for you to be a part of what we do each and every day. Keith Allen for the people saying all the best. May God bless.